Welcome to Kenji and welcome to the channel. I'm Twisted Logic. In this video, we're going to be answering the question if robot limbs affect stack growth. And to do that, we're in the forgotten construction set. And I'm going to create a custom game start with a control group and two test groups. So we're going to hit this button right here, create a new mod file. And the name is going to be limb testing and create. We're going to hit done. And now we're going to go to game start right here. And right click on the nobodies and duplicate item okay so name description difficulty and game style you can leave those blank or you can write whatever you want in those the money right here makes a difference and the uh, force starting position makes a difference so if I were to set this to true then we would start at either 4000 4000 or the way station ruins or the hub so we're gonna remove Waystation ruins and we're gonna leave that at false so we're gonna start at the hub no matter what if we wanted to start in the middle of strobe's gamble we would go to that location find out the coordinates plug them in here set this to true and remove the towns all the towns from the from the start location uh, we're gonna to go to force race and we're gonna add in Greenlander down here we can type in as a filter so hit OK so we're force racing Greenlanders the squad right here we're going to remove from the list because we're going to create two new squads and add them in. And we want to go to faction relations and add in uh, dust bandits and starving bandits. So we're adding in dust bandits and starving bandits and we're also going to add in holy nation outlaws as well as the wolves faction. And all of these factions, we're going to force relations to be 100 with, so we're their allies and they won't attack us. Uh, because if some mem squad members get attacked and they they fall down, that's going to affect the that's going to affect the testing. So now we're going to go to factions area, and then we're going to create the two squads that are going to start. So this over here for now, and we're in the factions tab area, and then we're going to go to squads. And we're going to find down in the filter, we're going to type in start. And nobody's copy right here. And we're going to open the item. We can double click it or we can right click and hit open item. So now old soldier, Agnew, and sword for hire we don't want. So we're going to remove them. And this one I'm just going to rename start control. And double click on the squad here, nobody. Okay. So we're going to remove the clothing here, remove from list, weapon level unknown, we're going to remove that from list, and iron stick, we're going to remove that from list. Down here, we're going to set female chance to 50%. Uh, we have stats, stat randomization, we're going to leave it zero. Gear prototype armor upgrade chance, we're going to change that to zero. Combat skill, zero. Okay, we're going to add a backpack, and it's going to be a large backpack. We're going to add a crossbow, and that's going to be a junk bow. And you see when I add the backpack, we have two numbers here. We have a 1 and then a 100. And down here, uh, value 0 is how many of them are there are, and value 1 is the chance. So with the junk bow here, there's only a 10% chance that any of the characters are going to start with the junk bow, so I want to set that to 100. So 100% chance of all the characters in this squad are going to start with the junk bow. We're going to go down to inventory and add an inventory in of bolts toothpick. And this one just has a value, so we're going to add two stacks there. And we're also going to add in uh, ration packs. So maybe four ration packs. Okay, so if I close that now, uh, we're going to right click on control over here and duplicate item. Okay. So now control copy, we're going to rename test group. Test group one plus two. And down here in the squad section, we're going to go to squad two and hit add and 
and double click nobody again. So if I rename this one control and close it, that renames all the squads control because this is a duplicate of this, which is a duplicate of this. So if I change anything in this one, it's going to change it in all three. Uh, to get around that, we're going to right click on this and replace with copy. And this one as well, replace with copy. Uh, so now if we make a change in this one, it's not going to affect this one or this one. So now they're independent of each other. So we're going to go into uh, this one right here, control copy one. And we're going to name this control low. And then add in uh, robot limbs. And hit add. And hold down control and we're going to select economy arms and economy legs, both left and right. And hit OK. Uh, now this is the quality in value 1 and value 2 is the chance. So we want to keep the chance at 100% and we're going to just change quality to 1 on all of these. Okay, close that and we're going to go into this one. And we're going to change this to control high. And add in more robot limbs. And these ones are going to be the thief's arm. We want the scout leg left and right. And the steady arm. Okay. And the quality here we're going to change to 100. I'm going to set Gear Master on there. I don't know if the Gear Master affects the robot limbs or if it's just value uh, value 1 for the quality there. So I'm not really sure what that's going to be, but maybe they're going to have Masterwork Junk Bows. Uh, we'll see when we start that. That's at 100. Uh, that's at 100. So now, right now, there's only going to be one member of each one of these squads, so we want to set this to 9. So now there's going to be 9 squad members for control low and control high. And this one here is going to be 9 as well. So we're going to have 9 members of each squad. So we'll close those, and now we just have to add it here. I'm going to go to squad and hit add. Okay, we get typed in start down there and we got start control and start test group one and two. And hit okay. So now both of those squads are in here. Uh, this one is going to be two squads combined into one. Uh, if we were doing something a little bit more elaborate, I would have made them, made it its own kind of official squad there. So I'm just checking everything here. This looks pretty good. We're going to start in the hub. That looks pretty good. So we're just going to come up here to the top left and hit save. And now we're going to open up Kenshi. Okay, so we have our custom start here. Uh, robot limb testing here. Uh, difficulty is super mega easy. 9 million cats. Playstyle is game testing. And the description is a control group and two test groups. We're not changing any advanced options. Begin. Okay, we have 27 characters. Excellent. Excellent. They all look good. Confirm. Okay, now as soon as we load in, I just want to check stats. Make sure we're all at 1 in athletics with 0. Good. And now we have 9 that have no augmentation. 9 with the high-end limbs and nine with the low end limbs excellent excellent let's see everybody has junk bows yeah varying quality there of the junk bows about the limbs here economy prototype And we have master work on the higher end uh, scout legs. Nice. I'm not going to check everybody's limbs, but it looks like everybody with master work is uh, the good ones, and everybody with the prototype grade is the 
economy class. Excellent. So we have Dust Bandits, Holy Nation Outlaws, and Starving Bandits at max relation here. Uh, wolves aren't on the list. I don't know if that's if they're going to attack me if they see me or not. Excellent. So we have three squads uh, with three of each type of character in each one of the squads. Uh, run. So everybody, just the people in the run squad selected, they're set to run. Uh, the jogging squad, we're going to set them to be joggers. Uh, so that's one above walking. And everybody who is walking, we are going to set to walk. And now everybody selected block, hold, and passive. Okay, we're just going to move. I think the test should be to move to a point and then wait for everybody to get there and then move to the next point. Uh, so that way everybody has walked the same distance. Okay, great, everybody moved here. Now let's move them down here. Now we got a group of dust bandits here that uh, just completely ignored us. Excellent. Okay, we're going to wait for everybody to arrive here. We're running at the fastest game speed. Uh, but the, the walkers are pretty slow. Oh, and then the economy leg group is even slower than the walkers. Okay, so everybody in walking, we're going to change to move together. Okay, so since we switched it to walk together for this group, while they were actually walking, uh, the economy leg group, everybody with economy legs kind of got a little bit more walk time in. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't change it too much. We should still be able to see. Uh, we're going to head to Squin. Okay, excellent. Everybody's arriving. And let's go to the Lonely Shack. Oh, excellent. I found a bone dog, and if I mouse over him, green arrow. So they shouldn't mess with us. Okay, everybody who made it here so far, we got uh, six out of the jog group, six out of the run group. And if we go over to the walk together group, uh, we have three out of run and three out of jog, and everybody in walk together. Okay, excellent. Everybody just arrived, and let's take a look at the stats. The run group here. Let's just move the stats over here. Um, so this one. Uh, this character here doesn't have any prosthetics. Uh, limbs is not selectable. Uh, athletic 6. Athletic 6. 6. Uh, this one's got an athletic 17. Uh, this is the economy legs. Athletic 17. Athletic 17. All three of those are economy legs. This is the scout legs. Athletics is at 4. Athletics 4 out of the run group. Okay, jogging group, uh, athletics 5, athletics 5, athletics 17, economy legs. All right, this is scout legs, athletics 5. So we have 5s, 17, and 5s again in the jog group. Okay, now the walk together group. Athletic 17. Uh, these are the control group. Uh, economy legs is also athletic 17. And scout legs is also athletic 17. So it seems like there is no significant change uh, whether you're half prosthetics or not. And it only the only thing that's different here is the amount of time they were walking. So if I click over here, 
And these ones are taking longer to walk there. So they're walking for a greater time, which is going to give them more experience over time. Uh, if I were to click around like this and draw circles, they're all moving. Um, even though they're moving at, uh, these ones here are moving at a greater distance than this group back here. Uh, these ones stop and these ones continue to move, which means they're continuing to gain experience in athletics. Uh, so there's no significant difference whether they're all moving together or or not. It's the amount of time they're moving is going to gain that stat. So robot legs do not affect athletics at all. Confirmed. We're going to move to the hub and we're going to test archery. Okay, so everybody here is on hold and ranged. And I trapped a gorilla in here. And we're going to attack unprovoked. Now everybody is aiming at the gorilla gaining crossbow stat. Uh, they're also gaining perception here. And I imported takes in order to do this. I uh, made a video on importing characters into other saved games. And I'll link it here as well as a archery video. This character is at perception 50 and crossbows 29. And if I flip through very fast, you'll see that all of the characters are perception 50 and 29. So the limbs here have no effect on crossbow skill or perception skill. Now down here, uh, this character's crossbow skill is at 30, that's effective skill. Uh, 30 again, this one's at 11 uh, because it's minus 63% on uh, robotics, uh, even though crossbow skill is still 30 and perception is still 52. Uh, this one is at 38 skill effective uh, because of uh, plus 25% from robotics, even though crossbow skill baseline is still 31 and perception is still 52. Uh, so they all started trading at exactly the same time, and if I move the mouse as I flip through all of them very fast, you can see that the bar is moving exactly the same for all of them. Uh, so in conclusion, robot limbs have nothing to do with stat gain. Uh, the time that they're moving has to do with athletics, but that's the amount of time moving versus distance traveled or speed. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe for more videos.